We don't think you should have to reinvent the wheel every time you need to design and guide RNA, because the world-leading labs in CRISPR technology have already designed and optimized entire genome-wide CRISPR libraries. So that's where we start. We search the universe of publicly available libraries for CRISPR cutting, CRISPR interference, and CRISPR activation. So let's go through a quick design and show you how you can use Quilt's tool for this. You start out by entering gene names, in this case, for a genic search. Into the box, you can add up to a thousand. And all you need to do is hit the search button. What comes back from this search are matches on the gene name that you entered in various libraries and various types of uh, CRISPR technology. So here you're seeing guide RNA designs for CRISPR interference. There's also uh, CRISPR activation and then traditional uh, CRISPR double-stranded cutting as well. You'll notice that if you enter a gene name that doesn't match, we'll return you back an empty row so you know that it didn't work. And then the rest of the fields here, you can see that we're returning you the 20 mer guide RNA sequence, the actual design, and then we've input uh, various oligos that can be useful for cloning once you want to actually start your experiment. More details on these oligos can be found on our blog here, explaining what these oligos are and how you can use them, but hopefully they can be useful for your experiments. And the last thing to note here is that if there is a pre-validated guide RNA design that is available at AdGene, we link you directly to that. And so AdGene has a repository of many guide RNAs that are validated and published upon and which are available as plasmids that you can purchase. So we'll link you directly there. And to this point, we've only talked about doing a genic search, searching for CRISPR's targeting genes. But another aspect of the universal guide RNA designer is that you can search in between the genes. You can do an intergenic search. And what we've done, uh, which you can access the entire library here, is to look for all of the DNA hypersensitive sites in the human genome, according to the ENCODE project, in the HG19 build, and design guide RNAs uh, to those regions and filter for off-target effects. So you can get access to that clicking here. But what you can do is search by in entering genomic intervals, and we'll search for all the guide RNAs that fall within that region. And again, you can input these and just hit the search button. What comes back uh, after a quick search are the guide RNAs themselves, the location of the guide RNA in the genome, the strand they target, and then the oligos as well. So we hope this can be useful to you in your research. And if it is, please feel free to help us out by tweeting about us and helping to spread the word about Quilt and about this tool. And feel free to get in contact with us anytime.